it's about time. What's going on? Yo, yo. Rumor Report. Rumor Report. This is the Rumor Report. Talk to him. With Angela Yee on The Breakfast Club. Now, some of the numbers are coming in about the Floyd Mayweather and Logan Paul fight. They're saying that the fight generated more than a million pay-per-view buys. Now, it was priced at $49.99, and if you think about it, let's say they sold a million, that's $50 million. Floyd allegedly gets 50% of that, so just off that fight, just off the pay-per-views, if it's only a million, he'll walk away with about $25 million. I mean, Logan Paul getting a nice little penny, too, because he was making a quarter million for the fight, and he gets 10% of the revenue, so. Yeah, that, that's know. good. Also, that's a, that's a great payday for a random ass Sunday. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, Gary Owen, you know comedian Gary Owen, he's, he's been on the Breakfast Clubs numerous times. He stopped by Wendy Williams, and Wendy got a little spicy with him. <laughs> the first time we met, think like a man, but I was married, you were married. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but you never looked at me that way, but I was looking like, okay, who is that? Oh, really? I am married at that time. I'm not dead. Oh, wow. And <laughs> that's. <laughs> That's shocking with all the, all the uh, you know, attractive men on Think Like a Man. That's kind of shocking. No, you stuck out to me. Really? <laughs> oh, gosh, he's nervous. <laughs> wow. Wendy taking this white boy summer thing a little too literal. God damn. <laughs> Goodness Jesus gracious. Jesus Christ, Wendy. Well, Gary Owen also talks about his divorce. His divorce has been all over social media, so he discusses it a little bit. I'm not officially divorced. Well, I read the internet. Okay, 23 years of marriage. No, no, we were together 23 years. Okay, married married for? Married for uh, a little over 17. Okay, and you've got children. We have adults. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, we have adults. I just want to make sure there's no child support in the divorce. Oh. No, for real, because it got out there that I'm a deadbeat dad. She put that on. Yeah, um... But our kids are adults. Yeah. So I don't. What happened with the marriage, if you don't mind me asking? I can't. Okay. I can't. Did you cheat? I've been Did silent. I've been silent the whole time because um, social media is like a soap opera. Right. And I was a guest. Right. With the divorce. I'm, I don't plan on being a regular cast member. Right. But we but, can talk now. Go. What happened? But my lawyer doesn't want me saying anything. Right? Okay. Uh, because, you know, we got like legal stuff we got to go through. But. What? I'll just say there's a big twist in my divorce that a lot of people don't know about. It's, it's, I mean, it's a doozy, but I can't speak on it yet, but it's, it's big. Gary got it. Gary should be respectful. You know what I mean? You got to be respectful in a situation like that. You got you to gotta thread lightly. You know what I mean? Because there is... What did he say, though? What did I'm he just say saying, anything? I mean, the, the other day, all he did was post a shirt, and, um, you know, his ex-wife went off. So mm-hmm. imagine what she's going to do after seeing Wendy. Mm. Definitely going to go off. Well, Wendy gets even more spicier. She really likes this white boy summer. Would you like to have dinner? Because here's what I'm thinking, right? We go to Fresco by Scotto, where I was last night. Let me tell you something. You're going to melt at the food. Really? All right, just say no. Tell me about your movie. Just... No, I'm he's not, not saying, saying yes. I'm not saying, listen, what I'm not going to, I'm not saying yes, no, on the air. Okay. Because that's how more rumors get started. And I'm in enough rumors as it is. Yeah, but I can clear this up. I got the purple chair every day. Oh, that's right. So it's, it's like, yeah, you saw me ask him out. We went to Scotto. We had a good time. Then he took his Uber back to his hotel, and I took, you know, my car back to my apartment. Right. Yeah. Separate. Yeah. Okay, that's Yeah. Fine. We can see you, Wendy. You're on TV. <laughs> If she that was hard. flipped, if that was a dude doing that to a girl. Oh, it would be so uncomfortable. Oh, it would be World it, War III out here. Yeah, yeah that's absolutely. absolutely. 100%. That's... But we know double standards exist, Dramos. Mm. Sorry, young man. You just learning this? <laughs> it's, it's uncomfortable. Jeez. Well, shout out to Gary Owen. And he was trying to, he was trying to be political as possible. I'm like, well, no, Wendy, you know, rumors will start, so I can't. You know? out of that. Well, I have the chair. Well, no, Wendy, I don't like seafood. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm Wendy, allergic. Wendy is clearly done with Negroes. <laughs> okay. It's been white boy summer since March for her. Yeah, absolutely. Well, and lastly, Meek Mill and the team, his uh, Reform Alliance team, shout out to Michael Rubin, went to Richmond, Virginia, to meet up with the governor, and they wanted to change some probation laws. The governor signed House Bill 2038, which limits the amount of active incarceration a court can impose as a result of uh, a hearing for a probation violation. So 
it's the maximum amount of probation a citizen can incur is now five years from the time of their release, which is pretty dope. So it'll help uh, people trying to get out of court, and, and their probation won't be extra long. Hey, man, drop on the clues bombs from Meek Mill, Michael Rubin, and Reform Alliance. Can't nobody say they not doing the work, okay? They doing shout, the work. And shout to, yeah, shout to Meek Mill and shout to Michael Rubin, one of the uh, owners of the 76s. Michael Rubin really puts in the work behind the scenes, he in does. front of the scenes, no matter what. Like, he does. And even with what, my, my car show. In every city we do, I do my car show, I donate money to the city because I feel like if you make money in the city, you should give back to the city. We give back to the kids. And Michael Rubin was like, I want to match what you're doing, not only match what you're giving, but I want to give more. And not too many people want to do that. So salute to Michael Rubin and his team. No, really appreciate salute to them you guys. For real. They, dope. they donated to my, uh, my 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 foundation, the Mental Wealth, the Mental Wealth Alliance as well. They donated to to us a couple months back. So salute to them. Yeah, they do the work. They absolutely positively do the work. <clears throat> All right. Well, that is your rumor report. Now, Charlamagne, who are you giving that down to? We need a woman named Sherry Tenpenny to come to the front of the congregation. Uh, now, listen, I'm going to tell you something. I like where Sherry Tenpenny is going with this. I really do. But it's just not real. But we'll talk about it for after the hour. 